So I look like a gypsy today. Giving you all kinds of gypsy vibes. Let me tell your future. Let me tell your future. Yes. Hi friends, thank you so much for clicking on my video. So today, we're gonna play in some makeup. I was fortunate enough to be gifted a ton of Anastasia Beverly Hills products from Anastasia, Norvina, and Natalie, the head of their PR. So I'm incredibly thankful for one, the opportunity um, that the brand gave me by sending me product and wanting to work with me and seeing potential in me. So I wanna say thank you to Anastasia Beverly Hills, Norvina, and Natalie for sending me this delicious box of goodies. If you can see, there's a ton of makeup in here and a lot of it I have never used before um, we have their new loose pigments we have their glitters we have a ton of liquid lipsticks so we're gonna play with um, some Anastasia Beverly Hills today and I'm super excited I'm not quite sure the kind of look I'm going for we're literally just like playing in makeup but um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be something sparkly shiny and maze balls <laughs> um, so if you want to see the look I come up with you know you got to continue watching the video but before we get started on beating this face, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload another video, and don't forget to like and comment this video. Um, why don't you tell me your favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills product? I don't know about you, but I am obsessed <laughs> with their brand and I have a ton, a ton of stuff so it's kind of hard for me just to pick my favorite but why don't you guys tell me yours in the description box below and you never know if i have never tried your favorite maybe i'll try it based on your recommendations and with that let's continue on with the video Okay, so first things first, let's fill in these um, caterpillars I call eyebrows. <laughs> we're gonna go in with our brow wiz in the color granite, and we're gonna we're gonna snatch these brows, or at least snatch them as much as I possibly can, because your girl is your girl is, is struggle busting right now. Just don't judge, okay? Don't judge. So now that we have snatched our brows with our brow wiz in the color granite, I actually like to then take the um, gel pomade, also from Anastasia in the color granite, just to kind of go over my brows. One, it sets it in place, and two, it's super pigmented. So like any spots that I might have missed, she got your back. She don't miss nothing. You know, she's like that best friend that always remember the stuff that you forgot. You know, you, we all have that friend where your friend be like, did you grab this? Did you grab that? Did you grab this? Just be thinking of stuff that you completely forgot about that. That's this. That, that's, that's the best friend. She always got your back and got you covered. All right, so then I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn, and I'm going to carve the hell out of these eyebrows. Like I said, I'm in the middle of, like, letting them grow out and, like, haven't waxed them in, like, a month, so <sighs> they have a mind of their own right now. All a girl can do is try at this point, but we're going to carve them and try to make them look like something, okay? Okay. Do y'all see that brow? This is a, I'll cut a bitch brow. Do you see that? <laughs> oh my God, I'm having a good brow day. Do y'all see that? My, my joints look like sisters. I mean, they even kind of look like fraternal twins, kind of, if you squint. I don't know about you, but 
They look so even. I never get them this even. I'm having a good day. Or is it just me or they are like almost perfect? Yes, browns. Yes. Okay, come through with the come through, Anastasia. So I'm going to go in with the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. So I've heard some really great things about the new Anastasia Primer. I hear that it's great for concealing any discoloration on your eyes and your shadows stick to it amazingly. So I'm super excited to test this out because I'm always looking for a better eye primer. I don't know about you, but there's always an improvement on an eyeshadow primer. Just saying, just saying. I just want to give you guys a little tip when it comes to this product that I noticed that a little bit spreads a long way. You only need a dab, just a dab on each eye. Um, so this product will probably last a really long time just by the fact that you only need the schmidgish, the schmidgish schmidgish of product in order to conceal your eyes. So just keep that in mind when you're using it. Don't be heavy handed. I know I'm someone who I'm pretty heavy handed when it comes to eyelid um, primers. So keep it light, keep it fluffy, keep it simple, and you should be fine. So want to let you guys know that. So I'm going to go in with the Alyssa Edwards palette, which is new to ABH line. This is a limited edition palette. So just keep that in mind. If after you watch this video, you're interested in purchasing it, it is limited edition. It's not going to be permanent. So pick it up. Um, if you decide after my review of it, if it's quality or not, I do not know because I haven't used it yet. It's brand new, still in the packaging, haven't swatched it, haven't done anything. So um, I'm going to go in with this palette. I just want to put a disclaimer though that I did purchase this particular palette on my own. Um, they did not send me this palette. They did send me a couple of their other palettes, but I did want to put that in this video that I did purchase this one on my own, just so you guys know. Ooh, look, that is such a cute palette. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Look, that's so cute. I don't know if it's giving it justice. I'm sorry for my bright lights, guys. I don't know what to start with. This is too much pressure. Oh my God, this is so much pressure. Um, so I feel like I have to go in first with Texas Made. Like, do you guys see this bright pink? I don't know if it's popping up on the camera, but it's literally Barbie pink. It is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So we're gonna go in with Texas Made and I'm gonna start packing that on into my crease. You guys see how pigmented that pink is? Yes. Give me life pink. Oh my God, that's so pigmented. It's beautiful. So then we're gonna go in with the color Dream It. And I'm gonna pack that on like my outer V um, because it's just a beautiful color, why not? We're gonna try to play with as many colors as possible. This is gonna be a very bright rainbowy kind of look. All right, so I do want to note that Dream It has a lot of um, kickback in the pan. I don't know if you can actually see it on camera because how bright my lights are, but it does have a lot of kick up in the pan, but I don't have any fallout on my face. So um, take that as you will. I think we're all pretty used to the fact that Anastasia Beverly Hills um, shadows, even though they're extremely pigmented, they're a little bit powdery and they do have, they do tend to have a lot of kick up in the pan. So just keep that in mind. But um, I'm not a big like worry wart when it comes to that. Like that's not a make it or break it for a palette for me. But if it is for you, um, Dream It does have um, quite significant um, amount of kickback. Uh, but Texas Made the pink one did not do that. So just keep that in mind. All right, now that we have the color placed, I'm gonna start blending out these harsh edges um, just so it can kind of be more of a gradient. So I'm gonna go back in with both a little bit more Texas Made and a little bit more Dream It. And like I said, just blend out these harsh edges so it's not so sharp.
So I'm going to actually pick up the Anastasia brush that came in the palette. Um, they put really good quality brushes into their palettes and I actually really love using them. So um, it's usually a dual ended brush and I'm going to take the blending side and I'm going to pick up the color Believe and I'm just going to also throw that in my crease um, just to add a little bit more of a purple shift and kind of give it a little bit of dimension. All right, now I'm going to go back in with their eye primer and I'm going to cut my crease and I want to play with like this yellow shade. I want to see how pigmented this yellow is because anyone who knows makeup knows it is super hard to find a really pigmented yellow. So let's see. All right, so I finally finished cutting my crease. I just want to put a disclaimer that if you do not have hooded eyes, you do not know the struggle when your eye fat is different on both sides. So please do not judge the fact that I know that these cut creases are not even, all right, I got to work with what I got, okay? Okay, and the fat flaps was not working with me today. So this is as close as I could possibly get them. Please don't judge, don't judge, because I'm judging myself. All right, so I'm going to go in with a little bit more of Dream It, and I'm just going to kind of blend out these harsh edges just a smidge, smidge, so it's not so sharp. Okay, so... We're now going to go in with the color Brick Road, which is this bright yellow. And I'm praying to God that this bright yellow is everything that I need it to be. Like, it's so hard. I don't think I have any palette where I can say, like, the bright yellow I'm 100% happy with. And I heard that this yellow is the bomb. Dot com. So I'm hoping that it brings me all kind of life <laughs> and it's super pigmented. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. You kind of have to build the color up, but I'm like, I'm not mad at it. It's pretty good. I've seen a lot, a lot more yellows like perform way worse. So I'm okay with this so far. Let's see how it blends out and stuff. Okay, that, that yellow is pretty, like, that. that's really pretty. I can't even lie. That's a gorgeous yellow. This is probably, like, one of the best yellows I have ever used. And I own a lot of yellow eyeshadow um, because I'm always searching for, like, a really good yellow because <laughs> it's so hard to formulate, I guess, like, a really pigmented yellow. So this, I'm looking in, like, the monitor and... It's giving me all kinds of life, yes. So I'm gonna blend out these harsh edges using um, the same brush I used with Dreamy. I'm not gonna pick up any more product, but I am just gonna blend out the yellow just so it's not such a harsh line. This is kind of sexy. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm living for it. I'm living for it. I literally need to clean my makeup brushes. Like every brush I own is dirty. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this white color headliner right here. And I'm gonna put that on the inner corner of my eyes just to kind of make it pop a little bit. So. So Anastasia sent me all of their glitters, their loose glitters, and they also sent me their glitter glue. And a part of me is like, we should really bedazzle this look. So I kind of want to be a little extra, and I think I'm going to add some glitter to this look. 
So I think I'm going to go in with the color Royal, which is their purple glitter, also in conjunction with their glitter adhesive. And I'm just going to add a little bit of sparkle to my eyelid. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the glitter adhesive on my plastic palette. And I'm going to use a really tiny, tiny liner brush. And I think I'm going to add like just a little bit of glitter in the front of my eye. This color is so cute. You see how cute this color is? Ooh, they even have a sifter. I like that. I like when products have sifters. It just makes it less messy. So just so you guys know, these do come with a sifter. If you can see. All right, so I'm done bedazzling my eyes. And I really like this um glitter adhesive um my only advice is use very little because if you try to use too much your glitter could get a little clumpy i did have a little bit of issues with that on this eye because i used a lot of the adhesive thinking that i need a lot you only need a drop a little goes a long way um but the glitter is beautiful and the um, adhesive is super sticky but it gives you enough time to place like the glitter before it dries so i actually really enjoy this i'm definitely going to use this again all right guys so i'm going to go in with my hydra primer um from milk i've been really loving this primer lately um it's super hydrating and it makes any foundation that i put on look fantastic i have tried it with matte formulas and dewy formulas and it just makes my foundation lay amazing it just sticks right to the primer so um i really enjoy this if you are in a sephora definitely pick it up it does come in a trial size if you don't want to buy the big size but it is an amazing primer and i think it's great for like all skin tones it's, like i said it's super hydrating It leaves your skin super tacky, which I really love because I feel like whatever I put on top of it is just going to stick straight to it. So for foundation, um, I'm actually going to go in with a really inexpensive foundation. It's actually the LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation. It came out, I think, like a year ago. And when it first came out, everybody was talking about how it was such a great formula. Um, but I was never able to find it in store until recently I was like in a family dollar. And I think they're like $3. And I um, don't have an exact shade in this line because there's only like eight or ten shades it's it's horrible they need to definitely come out with more shades but i'm assuming if i mix the color cafe which is a little too light and i mix the color cappuccino which is definitely too dark maybe we could make something happen i'm not sure this could turn out really badly but we're playing in makeup today so yolo right yolo why why do i put these little plastic things on here like jesus christ it should not be this hard to get plastic off Oh my god. What? Finally, Jesus. Okay. So this is cappuccino, which is too dark. Actually, um, yeah, this is cappuccino, which is too dark. I just wanted to see like a baseline, like how dark cappuccino is. And that's pretty dark. So um yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to mix them. So I think I think that's a pretty good color match, don't you guys? All right, let's see. All right, so my initial thoughts on this foundation is it's a very neutral undertone and I have a lot of yellow in my skin. So I'm not loving the color. I mean, I think the color is a decent match. I mean, it's a little too dark for my face if you can tell but hopefully I can kind of correct that with um concealer um but it's I would definitely say it's a high medium uh coverage foundation you can still kind of see some of my marks but um it leans more to the full size like medium and it's probably buildable I'm pretty sure like if I tried to build it up it would cover up my marks but um I'm not mad at the foundation it's really pretty the finish is really pretty um without me even setting it um it's like a, a satin finish 
and I don't think it completely dried down yet. So I'm like not mad at the finish of the foundation. I wish the color was a little better. Um, if I do use this foundation again, I would probably um, put some yellow pigment. Um, I have the LA Girl yellow pigment in it just to give it a little bit more of a golden shift. But I'm, I'm not mad at it. I mean, I've seen worse foundations on my skin tone. All right, I am going to go in with my Born This Way concealer in the color Butterscotch. And hopefully this could correct kind of like the neutralness of this foundation. But we are going to fix it by concealing the crap out of our face. So now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me um, in the color 30 and I'm going to set my face with it. All right, I am going to go in with my LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner in the color Vivid, which is this beautiful purple color that's going to um, complement this eyeshadow amazingly. All right, let's dust away this powder. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl um, Pro Face Powder. It's my favorite powder to set my face with. Um, I'm obsessed with it. But with this foundation, you really don't need to set it because it's a matte finish and it actually dried down pretty matte. But I'm going to set mine just because of for like coloring purposes because this is a pretty warm tone powder and I think it will help kind of fix this situation which is going on on my face. All right, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia bronzer in the color cappuccino, and I'm gonna warm up my face just a little bit. Um, like I said, bringing some color back in, make it look like I actually go outside in the sun. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia blush trio in the color pool party and I'm gonna add some color to my cheeks so I'm literally just gonna kind of you know graze over all of them all right so now I'm gonna go back into the um Alyssa Edwards palette and I'm gonna pick up the color um dream it and I'm going to blend that out on my um, lower lash line but the outer corner of my lower lash line. Now, then I'm going to go in with the color Texas Made and I'm going to blend that on my lower lash line but the inner corner of my lower lash line. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right, so we're going to finish off the eyes with my tried and true, which is my lash princess from Essence. Um, this is literally the best mascara on the market. So Anastasia Beverly Hills also sent me all of their brand new loose um, eyeshadows 
And I'm actually going to use one of their pigments as my highlighter for today. I actually really love using loose shimmer pigments as highlighters. So um, that's what we're going to do today. And I think I'm going to use the color sand is actually calling to me. So I'm going to use the color sand and I'm actually going to use that as my highlight for today. So it actually comes with a sifter as well. Once again, I really love a good sifter. It makes um, your pigments and your glitters just um, a lot cleaner and a lot easier to manage. So I definitely appreciate the fact that they um, added sifters to their loose pigments. That's really pretty. Do you guys see that? Anastasia also sent me a ton of their liquid lipsticks. So um, this look is so bright. So I feel like we should go with something a little bit more neutral. Ooh, Dusty Rose is an option. I like Dusty Rose. Yeah, I'm going to go with Dusty Rose. And I mean, if we don't like it, we can always take it off. But I think Dusty Rose is the way we need to lean. So I just lined my lips with Whirl from MAC. Um just because the lipstick is a little lighter on me than I thought it would be. So I did um, line my lips with um, some Whirl from MAC. And now we're going to apply the lipstick. Last thing we need to do is set. And they also sent me their new Dewy Set Spray. I am super excited to try this. Uh, but Everyone has been talking about it. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's so witty. Um, I wonder what it smells like. So we're gonna set our face. First I wanna see what the spray looks like actually. Ooh, it smells like coconuts. Oh. All right guys, so with that, this is the final makeup look. Um, as far as the Anastasia Beverly Hills products that I use today, I can honestly say they are all a smash. Um, the uh, Alyssa Edwards palette is amazing. It is super pigmented and the blendability in these shadows are amazing. I had no issues blending these shadows together. Um, they are a little powdery and you get a little kickback in a couple of the shades um, in the palette, but in my opinion, I don't really find that a really big issue. I just want to put that out there. If you so happen to think that that's a big issue but um I really love it and I think this is a very universal palette I know at first glance all you see are like the purples and the blues and the yellow and the pinks but it has a ton of like neutral shades right here and then um these deeper crease shades so you could really get a very everyday wearable look from this palette as well. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to do a secondary video using this palette and creating a more wearable everyday look versus something like this, which in my opinion, I would wear this every day, but you know, bright pink purple eyeshadow um, with a glitter cut crease is not everyone's cup of tea, I understand that. So if you guys want me to do something more wearable, please put it down in the um, comment box below so I know that you guys are requesting that from me. Now as far as the other Anastasia Beverly Hills products, the eye glitters are amazing. They're super reflective. I love that the packaging comes with a sifter. You cannot lose when the packaging comes with a sifter, in my opinion. The glitter glue was so easy to use. Um, it wasn't too liquidy. Um, it applied on the eyes really well. It didn't dry down too fast, so I had time to kind of place the glitter and kind of, you know, work, you know, work with my product before it dried, and then I had to add more. So it was very easy to use these products. The um, setting spray, I love. It gives me that inner J-Lo glow that I try to achieve on a daily basis. So it definitely is a winner for me. I love that. If you're someone who likes dewier, um, glowier skin, definitely pick up the um, setting spray because it's definitely going to give you that finish. If you're someone who prefers more of a matte type of look, I don't think that's the setting spray for you. But you know, YOLO to each his own. I'm rocking with the J-Lo glow this summer. Um, the 
uh, loose pigments are amazing. They're super reflective and they're really pigmented. So I can't wait to actually try them on my eyelids as like an actual shadow. But they also is a two for, they are two for one deal because not only can you use them as an eyeshadow, but I used it as a highlighter today. So if you're a professional makeup artist, your loose pigment could double as not only an eyeshadow, but a highlighter as well. I think that's all the new Anastasia Beverly Hills products that I tried. No, I'm lying. We also tried the eyeshadow primer. That primer worked really good. It really gave my eyeshadows a really tacky base to kind of lay down on and I really loved it. And I used it also to cut my crease and it worked really good as a cut crease um, product. So definitely pick it up. I've never tried the P. Louise base, but a lot of people who have tried the P. Louise base said that this is a dupe for the P. Louise base. And um, I hear because it's um, a UK brand, it costs a lot of money to ship to the United States. So with this, you know, it's available at Ulta, it's available online at Anastasia Beverly Hills. So it's more easily accessible. So I definitely say try it out, especially if you were interested in the P. Louise base because a lot of people say that is a dupe. But with that, this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching me do my makeup. <laughs> um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You're already here, which means you probably enjoy watching me. So why don't you join the fam bam and hit that subscribe button Click that notification bell so you know when I upload another video. And do not forget to like this video so I know that you like my content. Like, I don't want to put stuff out there that you don't like. So give me that thumbs up so I can get your input. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. Remember, um, comment to let me know if you want me to do a secondary look with this eyeshadow that is more wearable. And don't forget to tell me in the comments down below your favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills product. Um... I tried a lot of their products, so I'm pretty sure whatever you guys have tried, I probably have tried as well, but I haven't tried everything. So if you guys recommend something really great, maybe I'll pick it up and do a video on it. So with that, I am rambling. I said all of this in like two breaths, which I am pretty impressed with. Um, so with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye, friends.